Here's a guide to the No Man's Sky skin clarity. I've got some useful tips and tricks for you, but the first thing you should do is turn off multiplayer if you wish, but do turn off PvP. Okay. But first I want to jump to the very last phase, as most of you might be stuck or confused by it already. These four milestones are time locked, which means we won't be able to get them until later in the week. Also, there's a little trick to get both robot heads, so if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it in the description below and it should pop up now. Okay, we've loaded into the expedition. Make sure to select the first milestone and on to the first tip. Unlock the main terminal. You'll have to do a little bit of adding and subtracting to work out what the numbers are, as those numbers relate directly to the glyphs that you have to input. Then you can deactivate the multi-tool seal. And then claim that free multi-tool. Don't swap it, claim it, as you'll be able to sell that later for units. In fact, it's probably worth doing it at every camp you visit. Hit your pulse scan so you can activate your milestone, and then go over to the wee robot head. Of course, you're going to have to do a little bit adding and subtracting to get the glyphs. Then follow the prompts. Then you should get the harmonic seal. It's also worth searching all the barrels. And then start gathering carbon and ferrite dust. Dihydrogen. Of course, hazardous fauna gives you oxygen. And collect some albium while you're here as well. Do a bit of scanning for units and remember to collect quite a lot of that stuff because you don't want to find yourself collecting other stuff from the next planet because it's quite extreme so get plenty of cobalt and a nice big stack of copper as well as you want to turn that copper into chromatic metal when you finally get to your ship Make some pure ferrite and concentrated carbon. And of course, do all the repairs to your ship as well. Now you're ready to go into space. Check your mouse holes and then of course do a pulse. should reveal the next location. So head to the planet. It's an extremely stormy planet, but you've got the opportunity to get some storm crystals. Then head to the archive. Then interact with the terminal. Then you have to construct that head. If you've done plenty of farming, you should have all the materials to do that. Now it's time to select prayer one. Then head into space. While you're up there, shoot some asteroids to get some titanium. There's nothing much to do at the space station, but it's always worth logging it in. And if you pop your milestones, you should have all the warp fuel that you need for the next few jumps, as you're probably going to have to do three or four jumps to get to the Atlas. Here's the final jump. Head inside the Atlas. Remember to collect those balls, you get free warp fuel from them, then interact with the Atlas interface. You'll be given the Seed of Dreams, construct it. And of 
course, don't forget to collect your milestones. Leave the Atlas. And if you get an incoming message and it's this, talk to it as it gives you free stuff. You can visit Space Station, then call in the Anomaly. You want to head to those stairs over there. Then you want to head into the teleporter room. Select the multi-tool you want to scrap. Then scrap it for some units. If you've done the previous expedition, you can pick up your speeder and possibly scrap your old ship. But if you do that, remember to transfer your tech first. Okay, it's time to jump to the next rendezvous point. But before going to the rendezvous point, go to Space Station. And if you need to, buy some materials with the units you made from scrapping the multi-tool. Now we can head to the planet. When you get close to the camp, the pilgrimage milestone will pop. Nab another free multi-tool if you wish. But before you leave this planet, collect plenty of radiant shards and the adidium, or you know, the purpley pink stuff. At least until you get the living void milestone and the radiant milestone. Don't forget to check the barrels at the camp. Then it's time to go into space and jump to the next location. Remember to pop and select your milestone as you go along. Once you get there, head to the planet. Yes, it's another camp. That's Pilgrimage 2 done. Head to the little robot head, do a pulse if it doesn't pop up, or select the milestone to make sure it happens. Now it's time to construct the limbs. Quad Servo and the wiring room I got as drops, but the Quad Servo is dropped from Sentinel Dogs. The wiring room can get the space station. So don't forget to construct the actual limbs and, of course, pop your milestones. I've got a base computer, but I'm not going to build a base on this planet. So let's select Prayer 2 and head into space. Then jump to the Atlas. When you get to the system, go inside the Atlas. Pick up the warp cells and speak to Atlas. That's prayer 2 done and you should have the recipe for cedar power. And that is phase 2 done. At this point you might have enough nanites to buy a hyperdrive upgrade. S class is best but it doesn't matter what you get, just upgrade it as much as you can. Now we can jump to the rendezvous point in phase 3. As usual, when I get there I'll go and visit the space station, then head to the planet. When you get close to the location, sometimes comm balls tell you where it is. Of course there's another camp, but I think I'm a little bit too close this time. But that's pilgrimage 3 done. You can go straight to the robot head or you can go and get the multi-tool, but essentially it's like the previous camps. This time I have to construct a shell. The only thing's an issue is the crystallized sulphide, so I just need to find some water. And this lake is quite bad, maybe you should find a better one than me. But you're looking for this icon, but I'll have to dig down to get it. And the rock formation you want looks like that, but Mings is upside down. It'll have all three attached to one of them. 
convert some pure ferret into magnetized ferret. That's the shell done. But while you're on this planet, it's worth putting down a base or a nice big doorway to give yourself shelter. Make sure it's near some gravitino balls. So when you plug one, you'll get the sentinels and you only have to destroy five of them. Of course, they're really annoying because they heal each other. If you've installed those multi-tool weapon modules you got earlier, you probably have an easier time than I'm having, but that healing is really annoying. But that's the last one, so that's that milestone done. So it's headed to space and head to the Atlas. And then speak to the Atlas to get the seed of Will. And if you haven't got any ionized cobalt, just throw some cobalt into your personal refiner and there you go. Then craft seed of Will. And that is phase three done. Okay, time to go to rendezvous four. Phase 4 gets a bit jumbled, so follow along. Head to the planet, then head to the camp. When you get to the camp, Pilgrimage 4 pops. Speak to the head like you have in the previous camps. But now we have to find hydraulic wire and magnetised resonator. The lubricant recipe was already dropped in the previous milestone. So head into space and call on the anomaly. Head to the back of the anomaly. And go to the middle terminal on the right. And, and buy the recipe for the hydraulic wire and of course the magnetic resonator. Then head to this rainy planet as this is where you'll find some salt. So find a nice big chunk of water. You're looking for this small crystal formation, so of course mind that. Then head into space and head to this super critical gamma root planet. Fly low until you see plants like that. To farm them, you should have the hazmat gauntlets you got from a previous milestone. You probably have to find two locations to get all the gamma root. Then make some creature pellets. Drop a creature pellet next to some creatures. Then wait for them to poop, then collect the poop. Now you should have all the materials to construct the legs. I went in space and jumped to the next rendezvous point. As soon as I got there, I called in the anomaly. And this is where things get confusing. They don't follow in sequence. So the next milestone you want to do is the Grand Divergence. So click on that and go and speak to Nada. Once you've spoken to Nada, you want to leave the anomaly, do a pulse, and head to the location on the planet. It will be a monolith. And you're looking for that little purple thing in the side, hit pulse so when you're close by, interact with it and fuel it. Then go and talk to the one up there. Then go back to the original interface because you'll find it Atlantium multi-tool. So if you've got enough nanites, you can pick that up. And if you pick one up like I have, remember to remove the technology from your old one and put it in your new one. Now you can head back into space. You should be able to go and visit the Atlas now. So jump to the Atlas location. Head inside the Atlas. Collect the warp cells if you can and speak to the Atlas to get the Seed of Life recipe. Now 
and then craft the seed of life. Then select the lifeboat milestone. Go into space and call in the anomaly. Go up and speak to Nada. Then speak to Polo. Then you have to wait 11 minutes, so go and get some tea, a cup of tea. And then when that's done, speak to Polo again. Then head to the teleporter room and speak to the construct. That's lifeboat done. Click on the Lost Souls milestone. Speak to Nada. Speak to Polo. Then install the new bit of technology you've just been given. Then head into space and if you're not in a dissonant system, head to one. And then head to the dissonant planet. As soon as you get out your ship, your sweep scanner should be activated. Then you'll get the finalizing signal, which will reveal the location. So head there. And when you get to the location, hit pulse and mind the echo. But once that's done, hit pulse again, just to see if there's any more around. Then head into space and call in the anomaly. Speak to Nada again. And then you want to head to the teleporter room again, but this time turn right to that room at the very back of the anomaly. Then feed the seeds to the machine. And not only is that Lost Souls milestone done, but the whole of phase four is now complete. Now leave the anomaly and because we're in a distance of system, the next location should be in the same system. But if not, don't worry, you probably just have to jump a few times. And as I'm on the surface, the comm ball nearby is probably the location. It's another camp, that pilgrimage five done. Speak to the robot head like you've done in previous camps. This time you'll be given the reactor and you should already have all these materials. So construct that, then check your milestones as the next one we have to do is prayer five. So head into space. Go into the galactic map and jump to the next Atlas location. Head inside the Atlas. Speak to the Atlas and you'll be given the recipe for Seed of Hope, which is another one that's quite easy to construct. And that's it, that's all we can do for now. You can carry on feeding the machine in the anomaly, but essentially the last four are time locked, unless you're doing it later in the week and they've already unlocked. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.